Pajero is not just an icon of the Mitsubishi company, but also of the entire automotive world. The carmaker discontinued the vehicle in 2021, but the name still lives on with the Pajero Sport model, a smaller version than the original. The Japanese Range Rover, as some call it, is under development for the future revival. Here are the exclusive first details about the comeback of the Mitsubishi Pajero. The new SUV is still in the early phases of development. According to Intel, sales will not start in the next two years. The Pajero will likely be available as a 2027 model. However, the first appearances or teasers are expected as early as 2025. Mitsubishi will kickstart the comeback campaign, and there's plenty of work to be done. The new Mitsubishi Pajero is making a comeback, built on a new architecture. Some believed it could utilize some of the existing platforms, depending on its purpose. As a large SUV, the L200 truck seems to offer the most suitable choice. Or, with a planned hybrid system, even the Outlander could serve as a base for future development. Fans have their doubts for a reason. Can this architecture support such a large rig, or is the company planning to downsize the Pajero? Mitsubishi made a comeback to the big scene with the Outlander SUV and its hybrid setup, which was proven as one of the best configurations in the market. Leveraging this success, the company expanded its lineup in the United States and worldwide. It's no surprise to hear that the Pajero is getting a plug-in hybrid variant. Mitsubishi is sticking to its winning formula, but once again, questions arise, how large will the Pajero be, and can the PHEV system deliver sufficient power? Eventually, the carmaker will start building EVs and having hybrid drivetrains in the lineup promises a strong start. It's early to discuss specs, power outputs, and gas mileage, especially if Mitsubishi is indeed set on launching the SUV in 2027. However, if the company releases teasers next year, we might receive confirmation of the plug-in hybrid option and estimated specifications. A significant shift in the company's trajectory might be on the horizon. Dubbed as a luxury SUV, some fans already call it the Japan's Range Rover. And when it comes to off-road performance, there's no questioning its capabilities. The Pajero has always been one of the most reliable vehicles for tackling tough terrains and adventurous exploits. Now, with luxury accessories, Mitsubishi aims to elevate its game to new levels. Having already surprised the market with the hybrid version of the Outlander, the Japanese carmaker could replicate that success with the Pajero, given all the changes planned for its flagship model. The Pajero made its debut in 1981, although it took the company nearly a decade to bring it to production after the first premiere. Let's hope the revival won't keep us waiting for as long. From its early years, the Pajero stood out as a premium model, capturing attention with its distinctive styling and impressive off-road skills. Each full-wing generation introduced significant upgrades, cementing its status as a legendary nameplate. With over 40 years of history, spanning five generations and delivering more than 3.5 million sales, Mitsubishi bid farewell to one of its iconic vehicles in 2021. The decline began with the economic crisis in 2008, and the final blow dealt by the COVID pandemic ultimately led to the demise of the Pajero. Now, we play the waiting game. With the automotive market showing signs of recovery, Mitsubishi is already plotting the comeback. We don't want to wait until 2027, but if it is going to be the price, then hardcore fans won't argue. What can the new Pajero achieve with so many updates? Will a journey into the unknown or a return to its roots shake things up? Will Mitsubishi reintroduce it to the US? And will it retain the name Pajero or revert to Montero? We'll be seeking answers to these questions in the coming years. Stay tuned for updates by subscribing to our channel.